it's to just at the end is to talk a little bit about your protocol. Mm. What what do you do? So, um, so I guess partly what do you do and how do you check your health? What, what like how often do you get your blood markers checked, or do you look at your weight every morning, or yeah. Um, well, you know, I'm a, I'm a little borderline sort of OCD, so I'll check my weight every day, but I don't know why I do because it never changes more than a pound, you know, <laughs> but sometimes I'll feel like, oh, you know, I ate a lot yesterday. No, nope, same weight. Oh, I haven't eaten for a while. I did a lot of exercise yesterday. Nope, same weight. <laughs> it just doesn't <laughs> change very much. So it's not doing much good. Um, I think while you're, while you're going through the, 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 uh, initial process, um, uh, measuring your waist is probably the best, just waist mm -hmm. size. And, and there's a, uh, a new, better measurement of your body fat content called relative fat mass. And it's literally mm. just your, there's a calculation there, but it's just your height and your, and your waist size. Um, that'll be a pretty good um, measure of, you know, obesity too, and all sorts of other things. But um, I, I do, you know, I get a full physical every year. I do the mm -hmm. blood work then um, if there's any changes. And, you know, the, the last time I did it, I, I just, you know, I went out, I went for a walk and a little bit of a bike ride and one of my ketones are like eight. Um, which normally, you know, they'd be calling nine one and they'd be holding their finger over the one rate, but mm -hmm. totally normal for me. Uh, my ketones can get up quite high. Um, uh, but again, I've been doing this for a long time, you know, normally, you know, between 0.5 and two is a nice number to have. If you have one of those, uh, devices, uh, three is even better, but not everybody can, can get to that degree. Um, so you can get those things. I don't worry about it that much. You know, I just monitor my health. And one of the things I've noticed, Richard is, since I started this, you know, I haven't had so much as a sniffle, you know, I used to get a couple of colds all the time every year. And, you know, I, I don't usually get the flu cause I get a flu shot, but I just don't get sick. And, and, um, I did a, this talk I did in, in Denver, the low carb Denver, um, at the end of it, I talk about, you know, the potential for ketogenic diets to be beneficial, even for COVID. Um, you know, obviously we haven't done any experiments on it. So, so you can't make that conclusion now, but, but in principle, there's some, Good suggestion that it that and that's our lab at the cancer agency by the cancer research center is um uh, we do immunohistochemistry so we actually look at the immune cells and we see how they react when challenged uh to to various uh viral and bacterial challenges and so we can measure people that are keto adapted against those that aren't and see the changes that occur um it's pretty dramatic and it's pretty obvious that you get an upregulation of um, antiviral antibacterial uh activity there as well um and there's some other you know, uh, again, probably a, a talk for another day, but there's some other evidence mm -hmm. to suggest that there'd be good antiviral properties there, uh, there too. Mm -hmm. So again, I, I think when you're starting, you should get, um, I, there's a whole chapter in there, you know, that's where you start as you measure everything. Uh, most of it can do, just be done at home uh, with, you know, a tape measure, you know, and, and, and a scale. Um, I would suggest you go to your physician first and tell them you want to do this and get your blood work done. If you want to spend a little more, you can get, um, uh, you know, a more, uh, um, a, a deeper dive on the LDL on your, on your cholesterol. Mm. Uh, that's usually, you know, a couple hundred bucks. Uh, you can get a DEXA test, which shows that's actually a, a bone density test. So it's not a bad thing to do anyway, but it also shows you uh, the amount of fat you have and where that fat is. Uh, it's, it's a uh, DEXA is, um, uh, dual energy x-ray absorptiometry that's what it stands for and it's it's a it's basically a bed and you like it's like a sun tanning bed kind of thing but it's mm. it just uses low level radiation to look at your uh, body composition um so that's about a hundred to two hundred dollars as well and i would you know do that before and after the 12 mm. weeks um but really your own measurements and some blood work with your doctor before and after um if your physician doesn't know much about ketogenic diets and you do that and they're willing to support you on it uh, they'll be surprised at how, how much improvement there is. And I, I love it when people do that because every time that happens, we convince another physician that, uh, cause remember physicians don't really get any nutritional training. Mm, yeah. They're responsible for our, our medical health, but they don't get any nutritional training. So, but they're providing medical advice, uh, and, and, and the food industry, the processed food industry is not interested in our health whatsoever. So, so in many ways you're kind of on your own, but if you convince your physician that this is something you want to try and they support you, uh, I, I would love to see, I would love to be there and see their face at the end of 12 weeks when they look at the results, because if you do it properly, as we describe here, uh, in our book, bio diet, um, you, you, pretty consistent, good results, not necessarily always the weight loss, but everything else tends to improve. Um, and so, you know, after that we have a, I believe in a, in a slow start. So, 
uh, the, the second step of it after, you know, doing all these measurements um, is to just get sugar out of your diet, stop drinking alcohol for a while because, you know, that can impair your judgment and so on. Um, and then the third phase is the really, the, the, that's the tough part where you might have the keto flu. That's where you cut carbs out altogether. Um, and you might experience mm -hmm. some side effects. You'll probably experience some mild transient side effects. Um, so that's where you really need some support and help uh, to, to make sure you stay with it. And then, you know, you might have that Harper high one day and, <laughs> and wake up and feel great. Uh, and then you just, it's about, you know, planning and commitment for the next 12 weeks. So you're going to be, you know, getting rid of that crappy food that'll tempt you, get it out of the house. Uh, you're buying food, you're thinking about food more, you're making new recipes. Um, and, and if you, if you can commit to that for 12 weeks, it's, you know, one season, uh, and, and look at the end, then, then, then you decide what you want to do. Is this working for you? Is it something you want to keep for life? Do you want to transition to a more low carb lifestyle where you reintroduce some foods? You may have greater carb tolerance than other people. It may be a way you want to go. Um, I'm hoping most people, most people stay with the ketogenic diet um, because I think that'll provide the best benefit. Um, uh, or maybe it's not working at all. And, and some people, by the way, do experience very high triglyceride levels. We don't know why, uh, but that would be a contraindication. Um, and, uh, you know, in general, if it's something that you don't think you can do, then don't do it, right? You, you need to be committed because this is not a short-term calorie restriction diet to, you know, get into your swimsuit and look good in the summer. This is, this is a lifestyle change that's intended to be permanent. So, so that's why we wrote the book is so that you could learn about it because we feel if you, if you understand uh, why it works um, and how it works, uh, it'll be, it's empowering. It'll, it'll help you stick to it. Um, mm -hmm. uh, and then, and then the process is, is pretty well described and, you know, it's, it's not a, uh, challenging one, but there's lots of little nuances about the salts and water and, and, you know, a few other things when to exercise, you know, uh, sleep and, and things like that. There's some nuanced things, but in general, um, you're, you're, and, and with a lot of people, Richard, that come to this, they hear about it. They think it's a good weight loss thing. And they go, okay, yeah, I'll cut out the carbs. They do that, but they don't add the fat in. And so then they're just in calorie restriction that just leads to yo-yo dieting and, you know, triggering uh, thrifty genes and so on. So you have to add the fat in. Um, right. and, and that's a challenge for people because we've been telling them for 30, 40 years that it's a bad thing to do. So uh, if you if you cut those carbs out, you can add the fat in. And that's where all the pleasure is. That's where all the energy is. That's where all the flavor is, uh, is in the fat. So uh, so it's a good thing. Yes, I must admit, it's like I have the same thing. I mean, because I was brought up as well. It's like fat is bad. Mustn't touch it. Anyway, so uh, Dr. Harper, thank you very much. You've been uh, very generous with your time. Can you tell people, A, where they can get the book and uh, where they can find other information about sure. maybe your, your current research or um, other information related to the biodiet? Uh, well, we, we did develop a website uh, for the book. <clears throat> so it's biodiet, all one word. So again, I'll just hold this up there. That's the, I think you can see it there, biodiet yep. um, uh, at dot org, not dot com. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it's just self-published. Uh, <laughs> you don't make money writing books, especially when you self-publish. So it's not a it's not a money making venture for me. It's really just to help me um, get the word out to people because um, uh, you know my mother died of breast cancer when I was young and and so to to, to now be helping women uh, with breast cancer maybe uh, possibly extending their lives is really rewarding to me. Um, in the website, there's a number of there's um, there's a media page and there's got probably a hundred or more now interviews and TV and radio and stuff that I've done. Um, lots of uh, various topics. Some of the ones we mentioned today, if people are interested in a deeper dive on any of those. Uh, there's also a resources link, which gives you a, a shopping list, um, a list of glycemic index in there. Uh, all of the figures the, the, in the book are in there. Um, and you can, you can link to, you know, whatever your favorite online bookstore or hardcover bookstore uh, is uh, through the site. It's, it's available in hardcover like this. Um, you know, in Canada, it's about 20 bucks. I don't know how that translates to Hong Kong, but um, inexpensive. Uh, it's also available as an audio book. Uh, and my wife, Dale, and I actually read the audio book. So you'll, if you like the sound of my voice, you'll hear a lot more there. <laughs> um, every word, uh, it's, it's unabridged. And, and then there's a, an ebook as well um, that's available on all the, all the platforms for ebooks. Um, and, um, and yeah, if they go to the website, if, you know, if a question arises that we didn't answer, uh, you, there's a link there, info at biodiet. 
uh, .org, uh, and I'll, I'll get that email and I'll answer it as soon as I can. I get a lot of emails, you might imagine, but I'll, I'll try and get back to people. Um, if they have uh, purchased the book and they want to tell me about it or have questions, I'd love to hear from them as well. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe we, we, we brought up a lot of issues, so maybe uh, we can schedule another chat uh, at some point in the future, you know, when you have some time, we can talk about some of these other things we mentioned today. That would be excellent. Yeah, I feel we just touched on so many things and there's so much more that you know that we could that you could really help with. So, uh, yeah, that would be wonderful. Um, okay. So, Dr. Harper, thank you very much and uh, great to talk to you and I will hopefully talk to you again in the future. Thank you, Richard. It's, it's been a pleasure to be on your show. And by the way, thank you for doing this because uh, uh, it gives us an avenue uh, to, to get the word out to the general public um, without having to, you know, publish uh, research papers in peer reviewed journals that most people will never see, you know, they'll just get a, a media biased view of that. So, so being a scientist working in the nutrition science area on the new science of nutrition, to be able to speak right to the people through, uh, through people like yourselves and your program. Um, I know this is a, a passion for you and it's something that you feel you want to do to help other people. And, and that's why I'm in the game too. So, uh, so thank you very much for, for the show and for having me on. And I look forward to, uh, to seeing you again sometime. Okay, excellent, thank you very much. I hope that you found the video informative. Please do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button and choose all for any new video release notifications. It encourages us to continue to create more videos about anti-aging and extending healthy lifespan. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and we'll speak to you again soon. <laughs>